it's Katie. Welcome back to another Animal Crossing New Horizons Island tour. I am so excited for this tour for a couple of reasons, but the main one being I got so many DMs. I got tagged. I got sent this on Discord. You guys name it, but so many people were telling me I had to tour this island. And after seeing pictures, it makes sense why it is an amazing Swamp Core Island. You guys are going to be blown away. If you enjoy island tours just like this one, make sure to subscribe to my channel as I put out new videos every Wednesday and Friday. Now, let's go ahead and look at the map. This is an island, like, like I said, it's Swamp Core by Orly. And oh my goodness, you guys, Orly has made some amazing islands in the past, but this one might take the cake. It's incredible. Save the stream address. It'll also be in the description box, but it's on the screen right now. You guys will want to visit. I promise you that. Also Orly's Instagram, and she made a lot of the custom codes on this island. So all of that is going to be in the description box as well if you want to download any of these codes. All right, and look at this cute villager lineup. We have Agnes, Lyman, Joey, Canberra, Rodney, Tangy, Croak, Drago, Cole, and Boyd. So cute. And right before we begin, I went ahead and uh, committed some acts of thievery, which I definitely need to dress properly since it's raining. I have been trying so hard just to embrace the rain in Animal Crossing, especially whenever I'm decorating and designing on my own island. Sometimes when it's raining, I end up time traveling to when it's sunny, but you know what? Part of the like great elements of Animal Crossing have to do with the weather and season changes, so I'm trying to embrace it a lot more. And we are so cute, look at us. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Now here, is the entrance to nowhere. And you guys, we have to check it out right away. Not only is this pathing just amazing, but this is such a great example on how you can create such a lovely and effective interest with really no terraforming. And this is all custom pathing. And then of course, a few items dropped here and there to really, really make it look like this swampy dock, which I love, but so creative. Look at how amazing this is. And like I said, all of these codes were already made. So I will make sure again to link where you guys can download these if you want to do so. But such a phenomenal entrance. Let's go ahead and we'll go straight today. And look at this cute little shopping center. Boat for rent with Captain's face. Now that is a very cute detail. Oh, and this is a villager home right here. Oh dang, no one's home. I was about to say, we can check all of the insides of the villager homes too because they are complete. But wow. <laughs> I really like all the pops of red and pink as well. That's such an interesting combination, especially for a swamp core type of island. Usually we see a lot of black and green, but just the little details of red and pink throughout this island are really nice. Oh, we can get some ice cream. <laughs> like who would have thought to put the cherry blossom petals on a swamp core island and yet it looks so pretty. Here we have a nice little land bridge. I love that. And up this way, oh my goodness. A cute little picnic spot. Okay. Now, this has very much convinced me to use the infamous froggy chair more often than I should. Usually when I see that item, I automatically think kid core, which I love kid core islands. I love touring them, but I've never designed one myself. So I always thought it would look misplaced if I used it on my own island. But this sweet little picnic area has proven me so wrong. It's so green and natural and yet fun as well. It just gives it that tiny element of quirk which I absolutely love. Ooh, oh my gosh, look at these ruins. Oh, wow. Oh, and oh my gosh, look, here's a ladder. Let's go up this way. Wow. That is brilliant. Oh, they look so good. So many different trees as well. I see bamboo, 
I see the pine, I even see a palm, I see some stunted trees. I love that, it makes it really feel overgrown and natural. Oh, that's a beautiful view. We'll have to go down there and really explore over that way a little bit more. Oh, hello, friend. <laughs> but before we do that, this, this is the main house. And again, with like the red and green combination in this swamp core island, I think is just so unique and cool. So let's go ahead and go inside, check everything out. Whoa. Yes, please. <laughs> this is definitely the kind of living room I want to be in. It feels so rustic, but cozy. I love the gyroids and I love the fish poster. I don't have that one. I only have the fossil one because it's the, the only thing I've completed in my museum, but hey. That's what treasure islands are for, right? <laughs> This looks so good, and the way that the lights perfectly match just the whole ambiance and really give it that extra oomph. And again with the pink too, like see the pink neon right there? I just love those little details that really tie everything together in terms of color and theme. It's so seamless. <gasps> oh my goodness, yes, absolutely. One of the most, if not the most, underused feature since the 2.0 update is definitely the dusting. Because when you dust, not only can you make it sparkle and shine and, and whatever, you can create these kind of effects with butterflies. You can even add in other custom codes where it looks like dragons or, you know, Pokemon or whatever are flying around whichever item you decide to dust. And these butterflies around the plants are so perfect. Oh, this is beautiful. I mean, imagine this room if that effect was not there. It would still be stunning. But the butterflies make it. It just brings it that extra element. It brings it to life. Now let's check out the back room. I love this corrugated iron pattern, by the way. It looks so good. That's a good reminder for me to use more patterns. <laughs> oh, cool. Ooh, you know what this is a great example of? I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen, whether it's been in my tours or just through a Pinterest or Twitter or Instagram search, people using the glow-in-the-dark stickers to create windows. I even have a video on it if you want to learn how to do it and you have no idea what I'm talking about. However, if you've used all of your custom design slots and you want to try Something else, look at this. Using just the jail bars and fencing to create a window is pretty brilliant. There are plenty of items you can use in the game to get a very similar effect without sacrificing one of your custom code slots. Ooh, this is such a fun little spa. Look at the gyroids in the bathtub. Now, if you don't know how to do this, all you have to do is place the gyroid on the wall as opposed to the floor, and you just move it to the very bottom, place your tub, and then they look like they are sitting inside of the tub, which is just <laughs> so cute. Look at this little blue guy. Might I just say too, it's brilliant to have this simple panel here because when we walked in, there was also a simple panel, so it really kind of creates that whole door illusion. I love that. Now let's go upstairs. I love that flooring, by the way, in the living room. What is that? If you guys know, put it in the comments because I have no idea. Oh my gosh, same flooring. Whoa. Okay. I've seen many bedrooms in my Animal Crossing days. This might be my favorite bedroom I've ever seen, <laughs> truly. Even how like the corrugated iron pattern is the duvet on the bed. We have the butterflies again, giving it that slight motion. We have this tiny pop of color over here. And then this whole area serves to be like a closet or a mud room. We even have the little boots right here. This is amazing. One of my favorite bedrooms I've ever seen, like I said. 
It's just so creative. I love the way that it's broken up. I love the use of custom codes and rugs too. Even these rugs put back to back is so creative and so nice. Wow, that is beautiful. Now, what is going to be in this basement? I'm always so curious about what's in the basement. <gasps> a movie theater. Wait a second. Are these those chairs I just found out existed? They are. Oh, my goodness. Okay. First off, this movie theater is amazing. Second, I just discovered this chair in the studio apartment challenge I did with Lex and Kato and some other friends. It is called the Retro Massage Chair, and looking at it, doesn't that seem horrifying? And I thought that, you know, if you just did like this kind of motion, it would turn on or do something, and it didn't, and I was very disappointed, but someone very lovely in my comments told me we have to sit in it to see how it works, so I wanna try it out. Oh my God. <laughs> that is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it just looks like two little stick figure arms just going at my shoulder blades. That cannot feel good. <laughs> it's just like beating my back. That is so funny. Well, thank you so much to whoever left that comment because I had no idea, but that is hilarious. And that whole movie theater is so amazing. All right, let's continue. Keep exploring. I wanna check out those ruins over there. Okay, and I did see an incline over this way. I still can't get over this little picnic spot. I think it's just absolutely precious while still very much sticking with the theme. Whoa. <laughs> Look how cute Joey is. Are you joking me? Are you Joey King me? Oh, this is cute. Just a little seated area, a little floating dock where you can do some fishing, have a few drinks. I do love that. Again, like, let me just point out right here in this area, there aren't many items. In fact, in my frame right now, what, we see three, three items total. It's all pathing, which is so cool and such a great testament to uh, like the power of the path, if you will. Ooh, that would make a great t-shirt. The power of the path. But it really makes the difference on islands in terms of just creating a specific look, feel, aesthetic, whatever you are going for. I love these ruins. They look so, so cool. Also, something to point out, this, uh, I guess we'll call it fencing right here. This is actually a stove. This is the, I wanna say it's called like the stonework kitchen. You can kind of tell on this edge right here. But when we were up this way, it makes such a nice little fence. It is not a fence. It is simply that kitchen turned backwards, which I think is brilliant. I've only seen it a few times, but the height is like perfect. I love it. This whole area. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. We're getting like to the real area of the ruins right here. So cool. And I love too how right here, just a tiny little piece of this path is broken up to let some of the weeds grow. It looks so good. Ah. <laughs> wow. How interesting to use the holiday items as well, along with all of, of course, the ruined structures. You can barely see them, but they look so neat. And there is a little vine over here. Do I dare go up? It's probably just for decor, but let's take a peek. Oh, how cool. No, we do have a little view over this way. <clears throat> Excuse me, I just woke up, so my voice is like, horse. 
Oh, and this is how you get to the secret beach. Okay, how cool. So the vines are totally purposeful. Again with the trees, see how like there's the giant vine, you have the bamboo, you have just your hardwood tree, you have pine. I just don't see any cedar, but that kind of makes sense. Everything else, like even this palm tree over here, it creates such a specific and cool effect when everything is combined that way. I just, I just love it. Like this is such a cool view. All the gyroids, all of the trees. Like you don't even see the edge of the map because of how many trees there are. And I think that's so cool. I love these ruins. This is amazing. Hello, friend. Wow. And I love the way that all of the beaches are lined with the wheat field. It creates such a nice border. <laughs> this is so cool. I cannot get over just how amazing and intentional this path is as well. So good. And if you love this path, Orly even included a little tutorial on how to use it on her Instagram, which is amazing. Oh, here we are with another little floating house. I think that's so cute. What's interesting too about this island is there isn't too much like in-game water. It is all pathing like we've discussed. And yet we still have the really cool illusion that it's floating. And even though I'm walking in the water, I'm gonna pretend that it's shallow enough <laughs> and that we're just like trudging through it. This is beautiful. This is a really good example on how to fill up small spaces, especially if you do want like a very natural overgrown kind of look. It looks amazing. And then what is over this way? Not to mention the mum cushions look phenomenal floating on this swampy path. Oh my gosh, this is for Captain. Oh, how cute. It's closed today, unfortunately. <laughs> but what an amazing build we have right here. We have some of the storefronts, we have some of the bookcases turned backwards, some of the benches, and then simple panels. And it looks so good. Oh, and this must be where the dock is. Oh my gosh, yes. Yes. Big dock energy, for sure. This is a little creative way to break up your beach as well. You know, you come back from a mystery island, you put all your stuff away. Is this the pet food bowl? I always forget, but I like it. So amazing, this whole area. Yeah, see how everything is just kind of like cut off right here in terms of the in-game water? I think that's so smart. You know, if you have a very certain look and feel that you really want to run with, then you should absolutely do that in terms of pathing. Oh, and here we are at the campsite. And look at this little rock garden. It's not the most like functional, but it is very pretty and such a good way to kind of gather all of your rocks in one area. You know what's funny too? I need to jot down some of the designs happening around here because my campsite is in the exact same position, like the exact same beach right next to the airport. And I really, really like how simple it is, yet super effective. Little buckets of things. <laughs> now let's go to the right, I guess. Wait, what's this? Paper tiger? Okay. And just like how the bottles are decorated with Captain's face is so cute. Look at this little fishing dock over here. Such fun details. And this whole railroad track is something I need to download. These colors are just singing to me. And I like how it's a thicker railroad track too. Sometimes we see ones that are really thin, which I love those as well. But I really like how, how thick this guy is. And here is resident services. Hi, Luna, if you decide to wake up. Also, if you dream of this island, if you want to download those custom codes, you can do so right here as well. 
at the custom designs portal. Oh, and what's on the beach over here? Oh, this is where Nooks is. Oh my goodness, and it's a fish shop, a little fishing area. That is brilliant for so many reasons. And I just love seeing when people actually put their structures on the beach because I am so fascinated when people do it. I feel like besides my campsite, anytime I've attempted it, it looks so goofy. But it all kind of just depends on how you decorate it and theme it. Like this does not look misplaced at all. If anything, it looks so appropriate that it's on the beach. And a lot of that's due to the theme we have working around it. All of the fish, all of just like these items over here. I love that. Let's go this way. Oh my gosh, look at these little boots. So cute. I'm loving all of the Sanrio items scattered throughout. Hello, Agnes. Tell us where to go. Like this is so pretty. Even just this tiny little natural patch. So good, so pretty. Love this teeny tiny little bridge. Again, the other river mouth is very much blocked off, but you can still get some fishing done right here. And of course on the beaches you can too if you like to participate in those elements in the game. And here is a floating house. Dang, I wish they were at home. I wanna see the interior of some of these villager homes. But yeah, anytime they're on a swamp, or in the swamp like this rather, I love how they're floating. And of course we have a little gas can so we can make sure that the boat is all ready to go. Ooh, incline. Very cool, so this is definitely the more town and <laughs> town element of the actual island because this clearly isn't floating, we're on the incline up this way. Can't get over the Kermit the Frog. I mean, <laughs> it's so fun. Again, with these beautiful pops of red. Oh, it's just so pretty and so unique. Like I said, when I think swamp core, my mind goes to green and black, which is so typical and boring. But this, even like with these, it's so cool. <gasps> Someone's home. Let's go in. I wonder how these homes are decorated. I also have no idea whose house this is <laughs> since they're all uh, changed on the exterior as well. <gasps> Rodney, um, you have the coolest little pub. Wow, even look at the cube lights hanging, how those have the custom design of the corrugated iron and rusted type of look. Oh my gosh. I was not expecting this, but this is the coolest little diner. I'm sorry, Rodney. I had no idea you were actually like really, really cool. I've always judged you a little bit, but also look at the glow in the dark stickers on the left actually being used as glow in the dark stickers. <laughs> that might be the first time I've seen it. <laughs> that is an amazing interior. Dang, I wish we could see more. Surely someone else is home as well. Let's see. Are they home? Dang, nope. Luck of the draw. Oh, and we are back over here. I see. Okay, so this is how everything connects. Well, I just love that. I guess, I guess we'll go this way. And then instead of going to the ruins and down the left, we'll just go to the right and explore back here. I see another villager home and it looks like someone's open. So let's definitely go over there. But before we do that, I see a ladder. Where does this take us? Also these standees right here layered to look like a dock is so brilliant. That's amazing. Oh, we have someone home back here. Oh, I love this teeny little area. All of the decorations there look so nice. Who's home? 
room is this? Oh, oh, croak with just a cozy, very zen living space. Oh my gosh, I love how the island flag has been customized to make these bags over here. <laughs> It's so funny seeing when the villager matches the island or matches the home. Like we've been talking so much about how this island is of course very green, but there are those pops of red and pops of pink. And our friend right here almost serves that exact purpose in their home, which I think is just so cute. Well, I love your place. Thank you for having me. Stay dry, it's raining outside. Hey, what is over here? This. Oh, you know what this looks like? Oh, we're close to the museum. Okay, there's definitely a better view on the museum, at least by looking at the map it seemed like there was. So instead of going that way, which I don't even know if we can get to it that way, let's continue exploring, then we'll make our way to the museum in a minute. And I also wanna see this villager house back here because <laughs> someone's inside. Man, this island is so pretty. Something about it is giving me just the most serotonin. And I'm sure it's just like that olive, like baby poop green. It's like one of my favorite colors. <laughs> I love all shades of green, but Drago. Oh my gosh, totally the opposite. And yet exactly what I was saying last time too. Now this home is very, very red. And yet Drago and a couple of the other accents serve as that pop of green. That is so funny. It's the exact same concept, but like the antithesis of what we just saw. That is amazing. What is this little pot right here? Is that a, that's a happy home paradise thing, isn't it? This little seedling, little plant. Well, Draco, your home is amazing. I love the way that you match the whole island. I should give Draco more credit. He's kind of cool. Okay, now I guess we'll go to the front over here. I wanna make sure we didn't miss anything on this right side. Oh my gosh, Abel sisters. We did miss something. <laughs> okay, let us go around. We'll do a little speed run back to where we were because we definitely missed <laughs> the Abel sisters. That's okay. It gives us an excuse to see this cute picnic area one more time. And then speed run over this way. Any villagers go home? Not quite. Oh, it must have been up here. We didn't even go up this incline. Oh, and you know what? Abel Sisters matches. This whole building matches so well. It kind of makes sense now why, like, why Nooks is on the beach. The museum was hidden, the campsite was hidden, but Abel Sisters is very much a part of the town. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because, again, the colors look so good. It matches so nicely with this whole aesthetic. Oh, wait, what's up here? Is this just like a little, it's just like a little clubhouse area. Oh my gosh. I mean, a spooky clubhouse. There's definitely bones right there, but I digress. Still very, very cool. I love the scattered storage sheds too. That's something I'm trying to do on my island as well, especially if I'm, you know, going to treasure islands. Maybe I'm going to a uh, captain or villager hunting and I'm picking up some stuff. Oh, here's another little floating. Oh, we've seen this one. We've seen this one because it has the gasoline. Okay, let's move back this way and let's go see that museum. How do I do that? Hello, Cole, show me the way. You know what, let's go on the beach. I think that's gonna be the best way to do this. These beaches are so nice too. I really love the simplicity. Even the peninsula back here is very natural, decorated very beautifully. And then I think this is how we're gonna get to the museum. If I were a smart, smart gal. Yes, whoa, now this is how you do an overgrown museum entrance, <laughs> holy cow. <laughs> This is so good. So many different colors, so many different plants and bushes. Wow. 
<laughs> what an amazing island, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this island so much. Like I said, it is by far the most requested island I have ever had with other people sending it to me saying, you have to see this. And now I see why. It was absolutely stunning. Thank you so much, Oralee, for letting me tour your beautiful island. It is so pretty and you did such an amazing job. I can't wait to see what you create next. If you guys want to submit your own island, make sure to check out the link in the description box or you can send it to a friend if they have a really cool island. Either way, I'm just so happy you're here and you're spending your day with me with this tour. I hope you all have an amazing one and I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye. You can click right here if you want to subscribe to my channel and make sure you don't miss any new videos or you can click right here and check out this different video I made.